All right, so all the pistons are out. Um, next step is going to be to actually separate the block in half um, because it actually separates in half until you get the crank out and the rods. So there's a ton of bolts you need to pull out on each side, ranging uh, from 14 millimeter to 12 millimeter. Some of them are 14 or 12 points, some are six. Like you got two here, two here, two here. Um, you got one right up in here. You've got a couple up top on the block. And then on the other side, you've got a couple too. Um, what you want to do though is you want to organize them. As you can see here, I made a chart. So on the one and three cylinders, these are the bolt patterns, and I'm gonna stick the bolts in the holes so that they're all aligned and stuff. So we'll do that, um, use a breaker bar, and then just let it go. All right, so I got all the bolts out of the, the block so I can separate it. Um, I've got them all organized here, and keep them like that. And then now the tricky part is to get the actual block to split in half. So this one half comes up this way, one half comes the other way, and then you can get access to the crank and the rods. So a uh, pretty easy method to use, and the only one I've actually ever used, is you take a car jack like this, just one of these, you know, just the cheapy car jacks, and you put it in between the bell housing here, like so. You put it on so it's standing on one side, and then lift it all the way up to the top of the bell housing, and it should slowly split it apart. I just want to show with the jack installed. I, I put some cardboard here and stuff. And you can see that the deck is starting to split on both sides. So just keep cranking at it. Anthony. Yeah. Here, pry bar. Don't need the pry bar anymore. I'll give this back. Uh, who has the cam tool? The cam bearing tool. And it's off. Yep, that's uh, that's one half of the block. There's the other, it came off pretty easy, a little prying and stuff. Uh, let's see. All right, uh, I got the block torn apart in half here. 